Uh, my name is Oliver Bewald. I'm with SEP Backup Software. Uh, today we're going to talk about SAP HANA data protection and bare metal recovery of Azusa operating system. Uh, with me today I have Christian Ruoff who's going to talk us through a little bit of the technical uh, uh, architecture of the SEP backup software. A little bit about SEP, who is SEP? Uh, we are headquartered in Germany, in Munich, Germany, here in the United States. We have a North American headquarters in Boulder, Colorado, uh, and a sales office in Boston, Massachusetts. We have a global product, more than 5,000 customers use our software worldwide, spanning 50 countries, and we sell that software through 250 plus certified SEP reseller partners around the world. Uh, software, like I said before, headquarters in Germany, so that's where our engineering and development is. Uh, very strong standards of quality. Uh, all our software is in dual language, German and English, and we also adhere to the strongest data privacy restrictions that uh, exist in Germany. Uh, the company is private, it's, uh, there is no venture capital backing, but we've been around for 25 years. Financial stability, uh, we're controlled entirely by the owners, so we are known to be an innovative, fast-moving company that uh, goes in directions on where our partners want us to invest in. And we have a very uh, solid support reputation over that 25-year period. Uh, independent reviews have uh, um, categorized us as being a top-level uh, support partner. Our SEP backup software is a commercial product, but it's also available as open source. That means that customers uh, can feel assured that they would, through the whole life of their SAP environment, always be able to restore data, even if they no longer have a relationship with SEP, you can always pull down the open source software and do a restore 10 years from now or 20 years from now in some old uh, backup, backup code. Uh, we go to market with a number of partners. We go to market with SAP. We have a relationship with Fujitsu Worldwide, a big reseller and distributor of SAP software. Deutsche Telekom, uh, the parent company of T-Mobile. Um, we also have an extremely old relationship with Zusa. Uh, IBM relationship, we'll uh, talk about the IBM uh, power systems. We could back up HANA on power systems. And uh, last but not least, we also have a go-to market strategy with Lenovo. The Zusa relationship, like I said, is 17 years old since year 2000. Uh, it's a very, very long, old partnership. Uh, Zusa headquarters in Nuremberg, Germany is up the highway from Munich headquarters where we are at SEP. So a very strong engineering uh, and development relationship between all the engineers. Uh, we support the current version of Zusa SLES, version 12. And of course, we can do a disaster recovery of uh, the bare metal uh, operating system that's underlying the SAP landscape. Uh, we can back up SLES on, running on Intel systems, on power systems, and this is not necessarily HANA related, but we can also back up SUSE SLES in a System Z mainframe environment from IBM. Uh, that relationship is a three-way relationship, SEP, SAP, and SUSE, three German companies have a very old relationship with each other. Uh, we're also in the SUSE Connect program. SEP is built into SUSE SLES 12 ser Service Pack 1 and Service Pack 2. So that means when you guys have SUSE SLES for SAP, automatically you already are exposed to our backup software. It's already built into the solution. Uh, the old way of backing up uh, SAP landscapes is you script uh, data, you do a lot of manual uh, DBA type scripting, you schedule cron jobs, it's a very manual process. The new way of doing backups is nothing other than pointing to the uh, SEP backup software in the SUSE SLES installation wizard and saying, yes, I want automated backup for SAP landscapes. Then you've got it installed. It's a one-click process to get our SEP software installed. The partnership with SAP is extremely old as well. Uh, over 15 years of relationship with SAP, again, another German headquartered company. Um, I'm not going to go through all of these individually, but we support NetWeaver environments, we support HANA environments. It doesn't matter what the underlying database is, Oracle, uh, Linux systems, IBM Power Systems, MaxDB, uh, you name it, we've got the certifications from SAP in Waldorf, Germany to support your SAP landscapes. And we're also active in the Business One uh, uh, landscape as well, which is the smaller customers around the world. Uh, at this point, I'm going to turn over the microphone to my colleague, Christian Ruoff, who is going to take us a little bit into the architecture of SEP Backup Software. Yeah. Hello, so I'm, I'm his German buddy, you know, and I try to explain you a little how it works. So, um, 
Um, you know, the good thing is that I'm in Germany, so SUSE and SAP is a one day round trip. So, you know, when I have one issue, I just, you know, drive first to SUSE and after that to SAP. So, you know, I can fix issues or get informed about new technology super fast. And this is what you can feel when you have to protect your SAP environment and your SUSE environment. Of course, we can do so many other stuff, but you know, today the focus is SAP and SUSE. So, um, our highlights. Um, free choice of the backup server, so everything starts with the backup server, of course. So, you know, we don't have hardware appliances. You can just buy any kind of hardware, storage, it doesn't matter. And then you can choose if I want to install a Linux or a Windows operating system on it as the main centrals for scheduling and uh, create backup tasks for databases and VMs. Of course, we have a user-friendly client browser, so you know that you just have to create a backup and you see, oh cool, on this server sits a SAP database, a, a Lotus Notes or whatever. You can just select it, click it and create a backup task out of it. Uh, and then granular object restore, of course. Every time when we feel like, hey cool, this technology um, would make it possible for you as a customer to select single items. We try to make that you know, possible in the graphic user interface. So let's say you have an email system running. Of course, you can select single emails in the backup graphic user interface and recover only the single email. When you have a single virtual machine, you can select this entire VM and recover it to, you know, to, the, to the original node back or to a new host back. It's up to you, very easy. Um, efficient deduplication. So, you know, every time when we talk about bigger backup projects, of course, it's very important to have a very efficient deduplication because when you want to have to do a backup strategy, let's say uh, four times weekly and then incremental during the day, of course, you have to have disk storage for, you know, saving the backup on it. and. Uh, Without deduplication, we talk about five times the same storage as you have for your real environment. And because of the deduplication, you know, you can really just shrink down your backup data to a, you know, to a very low level. Brand new, very efficient, um, and it works with a variable block length, so you don't have to take care what kind of data you backup and how you backup. Just put everything together and it works. Powerful scripting interface, so um, everything what you can do in a graphic user interface, you can also do in a command line. You know, very helpful for big environments, for data center. Um, they, you know, have to do automatism to some kind of, you know, when a new VM will be created. You know, I, I just want to, you know, start a script which creates a backup task, which creates a schedule. This is what you can do with our scripting interface. Multifunctional disaster recovery, of course, you know, um, when you have physical machines, um, what you know, usually are existing when you, we talk about power, um, then we have bandwidth recovery for it. So when it's a Windows server, a Linux server with Subhana on it, you have possibilities to just recreate them on a new piece of hardware with a ISO image, with a flash drive, with your PXE loader, doesn't matter. You can do it for all operating systems. Automated restore, backup verification, uh, innovative modules like KVM, you know, this is our new uh, virtualization platform, you know, what we just covered, where you can do snapshots, like with VMware or with Citrix Zen or with Hyper-V. Um, as Oliver already mentioned for a couple of times, we have really a big uh, relationship with SAP and of course also a very powerful EBM corporation. To the architecture, so, you know, maybe your first question is, what kind of environments can I um, yeah, make or protect with SEP CESA. So, um, without making that difficult, so this is a typical environment. I have a, a company, you know, with database servers, application servers, with virtualization technology, Hyper-V, VMware, RAF from Red Hat, KVM, it doesn't matter, we can cover them all. And you have some laptops around. Just, you know, install the agents, and then you can do a, a backup on your one backup server and then do the first copy on a tape, a second copy on a disk drive. You know, this is what we can cover very easily. So without, you know, have this big skill how to run a backup. Section two is um, when we have a large customer, then, 
you know, most of the time they have somewhere a uh, second location, you know, where they also have their IT infrastructure running. In this case, you can have here your central management and here you can install another remote device server, you know. Oliver, what's a different name, remote device server, a tape server or a... Media server. Media server. Storage nodes in the industry, they don't have them. Yeah, so you can, you, know, you can cover the whole logic here and say, okay, these servers will be stored to this remote device server and we do a copy simultaneously to a tape. Yeah? Option number three is replication. So let's say um, you have two or three or ten locations and um, you want to have all backups on a central place, you can use our inline deduplication and because of that our replication to have all backups from all your locations at one place or a copy from your main location in another place. So this is what you can do and because of the replication um, you don't have to have the huge band bandwidth what you usually have to have when we have to transfer and copy data. And of course, small environments, source ID duplication. And uh, all that together um, is you know, one big customer scenario. Of course, um, there are some, some customers, you know, because of some, some legal uh, stuff or because of uh, there is no, 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 no working internet uh, connection between the data centers, you can just set up a second backup server which manages you know, itself here in this environment. Uh, but therefore, you can use our master graphic user interface to um, cover or to control more single aisles, you know, where you have a separate backup server installed. Um, Sun Remote Device Server, of course, in enterprise environments, we have to have powerful, we have to try to make a backup in a very, very little, you know, in a very little time frame and therefore you can push your backups directly to your existing SAN infrastructure. So you can choose network SAN. It's up to you. What's faster and what's maybe you know more reliable according to backup. Um, in this scenario you can see a mixed environment so that means a part of your mail ERP database server um, can be back up directly to a remote device server and then over your SAN infrastructure to your backup storage or you can also uh, mix it with some servers who are behind a network infrastructure. So you can always mix. You can mix operating systems, uh, virtualization technology, everything. Um, this is here uh, an example when you have storage devices um, like a NetApp or like an EMC um, that you can use the existing NDMP protocol, trigger a snapshot on the storage and transfer the snapshot over um, over network or over the existing SAN infrastructure to your backup server. Fast system recovery, so this uh, explains the uh, bare metal recovery a little. So when you lose a physical system, you can just create a boot image, insert the boot image into the new system and uh, you can also do recovery of physical machines to virtual machines. You know, the typical scenario, so now this server is just three years old, so, you know, let's try it until the end of its lifetime, and then in case something happens, we can do a restore into a VM. And then the problem is solved because then the system runs in a reliable uh, virtual machine infrastructure. Um, here, a little a scenario of deduplication. Um, we did tests with SAP in Waldorf. If our deduplication code works very efficient, uh, together with Subhana and the arms is yes, it's very efficient. So we, you really can, you know, blow out more than 60 or 70 percent, you know, of the of the data size after the first backup. And of course, the second backup is much more efficient. Yeah. So we calculate always with one or two percentage space with the second full backup. So that's the only thing you have to know for your storage and backup calculation. Um, yeah, just a little explanation again for the deduplication and for the replication. The only thing we do when you replicate data is you have to set up a backup server here and a media or remote device server here. Then you can run your main backup for the first time on this storage. And, you know, of course, when we talk here about you know, multiple terabytes. You cannot do the initial replication over van. 
because it would take forever. So what you can do is you can just take this disk drive, drive to your remote device server, do an initial feeding process, and from this moment on, you can just start with a replication, which works really very efficiently. Um, so yeah, here we have uh, some funny uh, blocks. <laughs> and uh, yeah, according to the HANA database, um, so, you know, we are certified for doing it and uh, we work with the HDB backend, okay? So what you have to do on your HANA server is install the SAP season agent after the installation. When you open your SAP HANA studio, you will see that we are integrated for log file backup and for the database backup. Um, and right after that, the SAP HANA database tries to push the log files into SAP season and writes it to the backup storage. Yeah, so th that's pretty much it. Um, a very powerful backup solution. And um, if you have questions, you know, about all the other stuff we cover, um, we have a booth over there. Just visit us and uh, yeah, thank you for listening. And hopefully I was able to, you know, make it a little bit interesting in the product.